Hi. What I'm going to show you here is, I'm going to show you a demonstration on how we convert the bond energy that's inside a glucose molecule into an energy form that's a different form of energy. In this case, I'm going to convert it into an energy form of heat energy, which you won't be able to see as well, obviously, because you can only feel heat energy or thermal energy, and light energy, which you will be able to see. So the substance in the test tube that I'm heating up right now is potassium chlorate. And potassium chlorate is, is acting like an enzyme in a reaction. And it's going to show the conversion of one form of an energy into another form. This is also a great demonstration for cellular respiration. If you remember, the process of cellular respiration converts the chemical bond energy in food, like glucose, into an energy form that our body can use. Now, the form of energy that this demonstration is going to show is not the ATP or the form that our body can use, but it is showing a different form of energy, and it is going through the same process as cellular respiration. Remember, cellular respiration takes carb glucose, adds oxygen, and produces carbon dioxide, water, and a lot of ATP or energy. What this is going to show is it's going to show the glucose. Well, actually, gummy bears are made out of sucrose, which contains glucose in them. So the glucose in this, the bonds of glucose, as you can see, bonds of glucose have a lot of energy in them. Each bond represents a certain type of bond energy. And what's going to happen here is that bond energy is going to be converted into a different type of energy, a different form. Now, the reason I'm using gummy bears, I could really use anything, but it has to be small enough to obviously fit into a test tube. And the reason I'm heating it on all different directions right now is because I want to make sure that I evenly heat the liquid so that it's not one part of it's getting heated more than another, and the test tube shouldn't be that hot either, or else we can get some really dangerous problems in this lab. And notice, I'm wearing my goggles, and I'm wearing my lab coat, just like you need to do in any lab. Safety procedure, obviously, make sure you wear your goggles and an apron if need be. And in this case, you do. The reason I'm heating it is also it needs to be liquefied. This potassium chloride is now in the liquid form. So I'm going to take a gummy bear, and it could be a red gummy bear, a green gummy bear, a yellow gummy bear, an orange gummy bear. It doesn't matter. I just need a gummy bear that I'm going to take, and I'm going to put into the solution, and you're going to see the bonds of glucose react. So here I go. I have a red gummy bear, just for fun, because red is a good color. I'm going to drop it in, and you're going to watch what happens. Notice all the colors. That's light energy. That's the chemical bond energy being converted to light energy. If I was going to touch it, which I obviously won't do, it's really, really hot. So that's heat energy. And notice the substances coming out of the test tube. That's carbon dioxide and water, because that's what happens when the bonds of glucose and respiration are broken down.